All right, in this video, we are going to look at getting MySQL installed on CentOS. I picked CentOS as an example because that is, or some people might say CentOS, because it is a Fedora-based uh, Linux distribution, so it's going to cover a lot of different ground. A lot of variants come from, from that. Uh, Ubuntu is also at Debian, so two of the primary Linux families of distributions. So hopefully give you two good examples here. But Fedora uses a different package manager commonly called yum. And the first thing that we want to do is come in here and do a yum update. And if you're not signed in as root, you will need to run sudo prior to that. So while that's going, I'm just going to go out and get the system updated. And what's important is I'm logged in as root here. That does have some risk with it, but you also need to be either as root or as a user account that has sudo access. So a lot of times I'll log in as that and then I'll do a sudo su to go ahead and switch over to root and then I can just run all my commands without having to prefix them with the uh, prefix of sudo. So I'm going to pause the video. This is taking a, a couple seconds longer than I thought it would and I am going to come back once these updates have completed. Okay, I fast forwarded while that was downloading and uh, skipped ahead a little bit, so I didn't touch anything else there. Uh, so now the system is updated. I'm going to run a command called clear to clear the screen so I get back up towards the top, make it a little easier on you, I hope. And now the next thing that we want to do is install a utility called wget. And this allows us to download things from the command line. It's asking, do we want to install it? Now, if you've had uh, your CentOS system for a while, chances are you already installed this. I don't know why they uh, don't actually install that just by default because everybody is like one of the first things that they do. So we can see that this got installed okay. I'm going to do clear again. And now I am going to do a wget. And this is a URL that I, I've copied off a link for the uh, MySQL Yelm repositories. Be sure that you get the right URL for your release. So that is important. If you don't, you will have problems. So we can see that went through and is happy. Now I need to run a command RPM minus IVH. So this is basically going to import this into our local repository so that the installer knows about it. And that's all we need to do. So that has installed it. Now, I've seen some recommendations where it's a good idea to do a yum update again. Just to see if anything is out there. So I actually did find a couple things. So let's go ahead and clear that. And then finally, we need to do a yum install MySQL server. And you can see it went out and looked at all its dependencies and it's going to install. So let's say yes. So now it's going to go out to the internet, download all, all the stuff, so we see a bunch of Perl sc stuff scrolling by. I'm going to pause this while this is downloading, and I will resume the script in a second. Okay, you can see that I'm getting a prompt here about a GPG file. I'm going to say yes. So saying that is good, and it's going to continue downloading things, and I'm going to pause the video one more time. Okay, now you can see that I have a complete down at the bottom there, and everything has installed normally. No error messages. Make sure that you don't have any errors. If you do run into a problem here, I'm going to guess you probably grabbed the wrong URL for the, the yum install. So double check that. So I'm going to go ahead and do clear. Okay, now we can go ahead and start up MySQL. I'm going to use system control. Start MySQL D, and for the, that's for the daemon process. And it's going to take a second to start. And now we can also come in and do a status. And now you can see that MySQL is up and running normally. So that is what is required to get MySQL installed. And in an upcoming video, we're going to look at connecting to it. Clear. So I just did a PS MySF, grab MySQL D, so we can see that MySQL daemon is in fact running on the system. So everything is good. Like I said, in an upcoming video, we are going to go ahead and learn how to connect to MySQL and start working with it.